What a crazy week of Pistons basketball. The first game of the week was the Pistons taking on the Pacers once again at home. The Pistons were led in scoring by none other than Christian Wood, who posted 19 points and 12 rebounds. And I hate to say I told you so. The game signifies that Wood is capable of being something really solid for Detroit, and I'm happy for him. These videos are almost turning into prophecy, so I need to remember that when I write down what I'm going to talk about, because it's probably going to come true. Can I forget to mention that Andre Drummond had 18 and 18, and his play this season has been absolutely incredible. It seems as if he's getting the national attention now that he really should have been getting all along. He's the best rebounder the game has ever seen. I'd almost go as far as saying that he's more valuable to this team than Blake is, especially when Drummond plays like this. Luke Kennard took the starting spot away from Bruce Brown and finished with a nice 14 points on 5 of 11 shooting. It was him and Derrick Rose at the end of this one putting it away for Detroit, giving the Pistons their second win of the year, both at the expense of the Indiana Pacers. Derrick Rose to the basket. He scores! As fun as the win against the Pacers was, the next one in Toronto was exactly the opposite. The Raptors have this guy named Pascal Siakam who was more than comfortable taking over their alpha spot after Kawhi booked it to LA. He got off for 30 against the Pistons and made sure the game was out of reach. The Pistons remained competitive in the first half, but I turned it off in the second half because it just became completely unwatchable. Drummond stayed up with a 20-20 game, finishing with 21 points and 22 rebounds. Derrick Rose's time on the court was limited once again, but he still managed to rack up 16 points on 7-12 shooting and 10 assists in only 20 minutes of action. The Pistons desperately need him to be able to play more minutes, but it's just not possible at the wishes of both Casey and Rose himself. He'll remain a firecracker off the bench for Detroit, and he makes the bench unit way more fun to watch than the starters usually are. Luke disappeared into the abyss, going 1 for 6 from the field for only 3 points and a game low negative 25 plus minus. This was another game where turnovers were a major issue, the Pistons finished with 20 of them, and it was probably the difference. They let up 125 points to the Raptors, which is not sustainable and it's definitely the way you lose games. Detroit was knocked back to a 2-3 and three record, but it gets worse. Friday night's contest against the Bulls was a homecoming for Derrick Rose, who finished the game with 23 points and 7 assists and only 24 minutes of action. He even got MVP chance from the Chicago fans. It seemed like every time he checked into the game, Detroit would go on a run and come storming back into the game, but he couldn't do it alone. The Pistons lose another one, pushing them to the record of 2-4. and four. Tim Frazier was a negative 18 for Detroit and only 17 minutes of action, which is definitely a problem, and this game signified another switch in the starting lineup. We'll talk about that in just a little bit here. Andre Drummond has been a highlight in every game this video and in every game this season with the exception of the loss to Philadelphia when he picked up all those fouls. He had 25 and 24 against the Bulls. Another 2020 game continues to be the topic of discussion. His play is seemingly just like otherworldly this season and doesn't have any sign of stopping. The best players are the ones that you feel like you can't take off the floor and I don't think Dwayne Casey feels like he can take Drummond off the floor. If he could play all 48 minutes, I think the Pistons would play him all 48 minutes. The Pistons tried to come back, but Tony Snell missed a few threes late, and the Pistons lost this one by a score of 106-112. to 112. The final game of the week came Saturday night against the Nets. Before the game, it came to attention that Reggie Jackson was going to miss a whole month due to an injury in his back, and that Derrick Rose and Tim Frazier would also be sidelined against the Nets, which means the Pistons had exactly zero point guards left on the roster. Or did they? Dwayne Casey made an excellent move to start Bruce Brown at the 1, and he's the player we're going to highlight in this game. He was given the Ben Simmons treatment, defenders completely sagged off of him, for good reason, I mean Bruce can't shoot, but this didn't hinder him from being effective at all. He finished the game with 22 points and 7 assists, but that's not everything. The biggest stat of all, he had 0 turnovers and he played 40 minutes of game time. For a Pistons team so familiar with just handing the ball to the other team, his strong play at point guard allowed the Pistons to only turn the ball over 8 times. Coming into this game, they were averaging 18.5 turnovers a game. I tweeted that it cannot be overstated how important it is for Detroit to see Bruce be capable of running the show, definitely in terms of roster moves and how they're going to use their rotation. If Bruce can be a solid number one, having D. Rose back him up, it immediately makes Reggie the odd man out once he comes back. It makes him okay to leave after the season in free agency. Bruce Brown's future with the Pistons may have been decided as he was repeatedly benched in the last few games for Luke Kennard. Speaking of Luke, he had a nice game. He finished with 24 points and 19 shots, which is a lot, but we need that out of him. I love that for him. 
Luke's confidence has been at an all-time high this season. Get this, in the games where Luke takes a lot of shots, he scores a lot of points. Isn't it crazy how that works? As much as I don't like Langston Galloway, he's been really solid this year. I have to give it to him. The Pistons closed the third quarter on a 26-4 run and actually made it a game against a Brooklyn team who was going to make the playoffs. Bruce had an awesome game, but it was Andre Drummond who continued his monster play. He had 25 points, 20 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 blocks, and 3 steals. And most importantly, he iced the game with free throws late and a rebound to seal it. Simply put, the Pistons shouldn't have won this game, but it's been Andre Drummond who is keeping the team afloat. Next week, I'll have a recap of the Pistons games against the Wizards, Knicks, and Pacers. Three winnable games for a Detroit team who is going to get Rose back and maybe even Blake. The Pistons started and finished the week with wins and there's real hope surrounding the team after they stole that game against the Nets. Let us know what you think about this Pistons team so far. Is Andre Drummond a dark horse MVP candidate? Is Bruce Brown the point guard of the future? Make sure you follow at Palace of Pistons on Twitter and sauce me a follow too, at Tim Forkin TV. As always, I'm Tim Forkin. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon.